Read with Greta. Read aloud for kids. The Story of the Leprechaun by Catherine Tegan. Illustrated by Sally Ann Lambert. A little man, about two feet tall, lived under a large tree by a stream. You could easily find him by listening for the tap, tap, tap of his hammer. The little man was a shoemaker. He spent his days making shoes that were green, gold, and lavender. Some with pointy toes and some with high heels for the people who lived nearby. And for the fairies who lived in the woods. The people knew he was a leprechaun, for there were many fairies like him who lived outside villages. The people paid the leprechaun with pieces of gold for the shoes that he cobbled. The fairy shoes were made of satin, and they were tiny. The fairies brought their gold to the leprechaun, too. The leprechaun needed a place to keep his gold. He was a bit of a miser, so he didn't like spending his money. An old metal pot became the perfect place for all of his wealth. His shoes were so prized that soon his pot of gold was overflowing. One day a man named Tim came to the leprechaun shop by the tree. He wanted a pair of shoes that would be violet blue with thick heels. As he was describing the shoes to the leprechaun, Tim spied the pot of gold. Tim knew that if he could capture the leprechaun, he would be granted three wishes because leprechauns are magic. I'll come back in a few days to collect my shoes, said Tim. The leprechaun was no fool. He knew what the man was really after. He buried his pot of gold in a field filled with berry bushes. A few days later, Tim came back, and the leprechaun gave him the violet-blue shoes. But when the leprechaun turned to hide his payment, he was snatched from behind. The leprechaun could not escape. Now Tim could get what he wanted. For my first wish, I want you to show me where the pot of gold is hidden. For my second wish, I want a hundred pairs of shoes. And for my third wish, I want three more wishes. The leprechaun said, I can grant you the first two wishes, but the third wish is a greedy trick and cannot be granted. The leprechaun brought Tim to the field and pointed to the spot where the gold was buried. Tim had no shovel to dig with, so he marked the spot with a stick and a shoe. He would come back later. When Tim returned, he could not believe his eyes. There were 200 sticks with 200 shoes all over the field. It was leprechaun magic. Tim dug many holes in the field, but he couldn't find the spot where the pot of gold was buried. After a few hours, he gave up. When he tried to collect the shoes, each one disappeared. The leprechaun had tricked him. The leprechaun needed to find a better place to hide his gold. He knew that rainbows were magic. You could never tell where one ended, and if he buried his gold at the end of one, only he would know how to find it again. So that is what he did. People still try to find his gold, but they never will. Listen for the sound of the leprechaun, tap, 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 as he cobbles his shoes. Perhaps if you find him, and if you are very nice to him, he will grant you a wish. <laughs>